talked about what a record is. The question is, why has this come up? Why is it that we have records management now? We've been functioning as an organization for years. Well, we know that the scene of this world is changing and we know Satan's coming after us and he's going to go for us legally. We can see by the way things are shaping up. So the organization has said, we've run into difficulties in the past because of the records we have. Like most departments, you get the questions, you go through, you create a draft, and you think it looks really good, you pass it by, or someone in your department passes it by you as the overseer, and you look at it and say, no, no, change this, change that. Well, you do a few drafts, and if you're like Justin and I, that goes around quite a few times. We look at all those that were not approved, all these uh, drafts, and we get rid of all drafts. And the reason is, is because there's many comments that are sometimes made on drafts, those are the ones that get us in trouble. A record can be a film or a video or, but I also mentioned handwritten notes. Now, sometimes we think, well, you know, handwritten note, how important can that be? Well, we've found out they're very important. Uh, just a few years, well, not a few years, well, it's quite a few years ago now, we had, we used to deal with a company. We bought a particular product from them. Uh, we hadn't dealt with them in 20 years. <clears throat> well, that company got into litigation. So that company, they, in their records, said they dealt with Watchtower. Now, this was in the United States, so right away they come to Watchtower, which is Bethel. That's how they know us in New York City. So they come here and ask us, do we have anything in our records? Now, if we do, then we're connected to their litigation. That's how it works. But if we don't, then the legal world says, well, we have in no way can prove that you were ever dealing with them. They just say that. So they came to Bethel and they checked all the records and they couldn't find anything. But it was determined it would be appropriate to meet with some of those that were there at the time. They asked a few different ones. No, nobody had any records of it. They asked one brother and he said, oh, yes, I do. And he was in his top drawer, he pulled out and he had a handwritten note. So that handwritten note tied us back to litigation and cost us a few hundred thousand dollars. So are handwritten notes just as important? Yes, they are. So we wanna be very careful and cautious how we handle our records, even if we think they're insignificant. The difficulty is it's happened more than once. So that's why we have this systematic program that we're putting into play.